Hello all, welcome to Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks again. Today we'll be discuss on Azure monitoring, but I have divided this session into two part actually. So today we'll be discussing the part one, which is fundamentals of Azure monitoring as a whole. And then in the next session, part two, we'll be discussing more about how it works actually in various scenarios. Now, what is the problem statement? The problem statement is how to maximize the availability and performance of the application and services running in an enterprise. Okay. Now, let's start with Azure monitoring. So, what is Azure monitoring or Azure monitor? Azure monitor is an unified monitoring solution okay, that deals with collection of data, analysis of the data, and response to that particular data based on an event actually okay so basically uh, that is what it does azure monitoring and uh, azure monitor is applicable both for you know cloud environment as well as on-premise environment okay so that is where azure monitor can be used okay now in a normal scenario uh, if you uh, if you deal with the life cycle of azure monitoring then and there are four stages okay so one is a data source where the data will be collected okay uh, for the monitoring purpose and then it will be stored in a data store okay and the data within a data store will be analyzed by the azure monitoring that is data analysis and based on some rules or based on some you know logic uh, it also reacts for an event actually okay for example let's say uh, when you are actually doing a platform health monitoring then if there is a threshold on top of a cpu okay for example if the cpu utilization greater than 80 percent that's an event you can generate some notification okay so that is how it works so four stages data collection is data source storing the data data store analyzing the data and then generating an event based on certain criteria okay so these are the step of azure monitoring okay now when you have uh, the data stored in a data store then data store can use common set of tools basically for the analysis purpose okay and those tools can correlate analyze and visualize the data okay so that is how it works as a whole azure monitoring okay fundamentally now or types of resources for Azure monitor okay now it can monitor resources from or in Azure which is in public cloud other public cloud platforms as well and from on-premise platforms so these are the three uh, sources uh, where you can analyze the monitor data okay using Azure monitor now what it can monitor it can monitor applications it can monitor VMs containers databases security events and network events okay custom sources that use apis to get data into azure monitor so these are the things it can monitor now basic fundamental thing in any monitoring solution is observability okay so based on this the monitors monitoring solution technically designed actually okay now what is observability so observability is the ability to access a system or application state based on the data it produces okay so that is how you can define observability now what it does it analyzes the data output basically from the system or the application it performs an intelligent assessment based on that outcome and then does some action based on its assessment and then it, it provides an analytical view okay or analytical insight of that outcome data okay or the output data you can see now this observability i have already explained like every monitoring tool uh, be it cloud or non-cloud that is always based on this particular uh, technical methods observability okay and that that is where you know uh, monitoring tool comes into picture okay so it gets done using monitoring tool now what what it can achieve with this particular thing is uh, you know matrices logs and distributed traces 
okay are commonly left out as the pillars of observability so these are the technical building blocks of observability okay now azure monitor adds changes to these pillars okay so then if you want to define it on the top it is the observability pattern okay now that what are the technical bending building blocks within that observability matrices okay logs distributed traces these are all the technical building blocks again you can divide matrices into different uh, uh, different small technical building block and that that actually uh, adds uh, so azure monitor basically deals with those technical building block which is based on observability okay so this is how you can uh, correlate the things now how you can achieve this particular uh, you know pattern within azure through uh, azure monitoring and azure monitoring has its own different service blocks okay now to monitor subscription application and different azure ecosystem to build an integrate integrated use case azure monitor comes into picture okay so you can use it within the azure subscription within the resource group within individual services level within applications so various area you can use azure monitor capability now if we want to divide or map azure services within azure monitor then these are the list okay so first one is application insight so that comes with azure monitor and it is used for monit monitoring application okay like web application or desktop application so that is where application insight gets used now what is app center app center is also similar that deals with application monitoring and it's meant for single application monitoring like mobile app so app center is used for that now network watcher it is basically used to monitor the network traffic okay or network flow like hop traffic, IP issues, access issue, etc. So, net network watcher predominantly you know deals with the network traffic flow. Now, coming to monitor, monitor is a comprehensive area basically, and that's uh, that is used to monitor all the services within a subscription or resource group, and within that you also have different event mechanisms like notifications, uh, you know, uh, all these things. Now coming to security center, it monitor all of Azure services to detect which is more secure than other and provides different recommendations. So that is where security center works and advisor is also similar to security center, but it is, you know, broader scope than security center. So it is an extension of security center and also have many more recommendations based on monitoring data. So it can do different other recommendation apart from security as well. Now coming to Sentinel it does more than security center with rule driven orchestration and security analytics so sentinel sentinel has a specific capability of within the security domain okay it also does security orchestration security analytics you know it, it can deal uh, it can deal with security workflow as well okay so in a nutshell these are the different azure services okay that comes under azure monitor okay to deal with uh, monitoring solution. Now, if you want to mapping monitor services in different categories, then first of all, how how you should start basically when you are doing a monitoring uh, solution or you, when you are designing a monitoring solution, then first you have to identify the scope and boundary of the monitoring. Okay, that you are designing basically. Now you have to find out whether you are doing it for a single or multiple application. Okay. And then what are, what are the things that you are going to deal with within a subscription or resource group? Okay. For example, you, you have to deal with network uh, monitoring. You have to deal with security monitoring. You have to also deal with application monitoring. So these are the different uh, requirements. Uh, you have to first chop, chop it out. Okay. Now, what are what are you going to do with the monitor? Okay, so what exactly the functionality you are looking for within the monitor? That is the second step, and that covers uh, you know like identifying different uh, different monitoring uh, 
monitoring requirement that is needed for your use case okay for example security monitoring network monitoring application monitoring all those things okay now once you have done this then you can easily map your you know azure services into your uh, use case requirement for example application inside app center uh, we have already discussed those are meant for application monitoring okay so for let's say you are developing a mobile app or you are developing a web app then uh, you can play with you know application inside or app center to deal with various different scenario in our next session we'll discuss a little bit more uh, into uh, how it works actually this particular uh, technical service okay service or services within each year now if you, apart from applications you also have to uh, deal with the platform monitoring as a whole okay with the azure ecosystem and that is where network watcher monitor security center advisor sentinel that comes into picture for different uh, scenario and we already have discussed like where we should use what actually so that is how uh, you have to deal with your use case to you know comply to your observability requirement okay so these are the uh, very uh, initial level uh, where you can uh, start with your azure monitoring and then you can just map your requirement into your azure services so in the next session uh, we'll be dealing with or we'll we'll discuss basically how it works in a different scenario okay and what are the internal capability within uh, within itself uh, for every services okay so that will be discussed in our next session okay so that's it for today actually with this fundamental of azure monitoring and if you want to uh, get more into it uh, to get into the fundamentals and how it works you can always refer the microsoft link i have given here okay that's it for the day thank you and have a good day